Hello and welcome to Gardening Advice here at the Old Railway Line Garden Centre. Today Keith's going to talk to us a bit now about the flower garden and what should people should be doing in June. So take it away Keith. Well, I know Matthew, you, you think I say this every month, but June is my favourite month. There's a lot to do in There's June. There's a lot to do in June, lot do in but June. lots of little things. I think the hard work is done. Um, so you, you know, there's lots of little bits and pieces to do just to keep on top of the job and keep things looking tidy. But you get a lot more time to, to sit in the garden and enjoy it. And, you know, after all, that's, that's what it's all about. Um, so what else should we, we be doing in the, in the ornamental garden? Um, tying in climbers because they won't stop just because you've tied them in the first time. Um, sweet peas, roses, uh, and clematis. Um, Filling in gaps, really. We've always got gaps in the garden, so you can use the bedding plant. It's, uh, they can go out now, of course, the, the risk of frost is gone. And there's but a lot of colour on the, the bedding plants now. Yeah, I mean, and, and they're going to keep uh, you know, flowering till the end of September. Um, but you can still plant herbaceous perennials and, and trees and shrubs. There's, there's plenty of moisture still in the, in the soil after the last week. So it's still a good planting time if you've got, got gaps. Things like sweet peas, Keith, something people should be doing? Just keep tying them in and, and, and feeding them because they're quite greedy things. And, and as soon as they start to flower, keep taking those flowers, stop them going to seed and they'll keep flowering for, for a lot longer. Um, you mentioned um, feeding there. Now, feeding is a key thing for June, isn't it, really? It is. I always feed my roses for the second time in June because, you know, we expect a lot of them. But everything really needs, needs feeding uh, to keep it at its best. Um, and particularly if you if you've got things in, in baskets and, and tubs because you, you're watering those a lot and you know, you're flushing out the, the fertilizers, you've got to keep topping it up. And there's so much on the market these days, um, soluble ones, um, granular ones, good uh, ones in the season, um, organic, we, we've got a new range of organic you know, fertilizers so from a local company and, and perhaps we'll do uh, some more on that in, in a future uh, program. But there's, there's lots of things you know, to everyone's taste. Um, but, but feed your plants um, and, and you'll be well rewarded. Um, some of the early flowering, um, the spring flowers, like the delphiniums, like the lupins, uh, they've been pretty good this year, I think. As soon as they start to, to fade in the flower head, deadhead them, don't let them go to seed, and, and you'll get more flowers in the, in the next few weeks and months. So, little nice jobs, deadheading jobs, uh, not, you know, you're not on your hands and knees, you're not, you're not digging dringling anymore. Um, so you can enjoy the garden while you do these jobs. So it's, it's enjoying the work that you've already done. Absolutely. And just those just yeah. sort of little tidy up jobs just to keep the garden looking yeah. its best. No Sit for 10 minutes and, and, and work for 10 minutes and then go and get another coffee. And that's the way to get through the tunes. Well, that's brilliant. Thanks very much, Keith.